Hello and welcome to this video. You know, I've heard over the years this phrase, work smarter, not harder. And to me, that's kind of a dangerous quote. And I'm going to use this video to kind of explain why I think this is a dangerous quote. It seems like on the surface, it makes sense. But as, you get, as we get to the end of this, you're going to find out where I think is a much better quote that is going to be much more empowering for you. Let's first of all kind of go through what I mean by this phrase. It's not really quite working out, I think, as well as most people intend. Let's, look, let's like look at this idea of smart versus what's the opposite of smart. Well, it's dumb. So we talked about working smarter. So I guess if you're not working smart, you must be working in a dumb way. The opposite of hard is must be easy. So you're not supposed to be working hard. You're supposed to be finding something that is easy. So work smarter, not harder, it seems to me, is what you're trying to search for is something that's both smart and easy. That's what things. Or that's what the thing I think people are trying to chase after is the thing that's smart and easy. They want to stay away from dumb work, and they definitely want to stay away from hard work because they find themselves working hard, then they might not be doing the right thing. So, like exactly right here, if they think uh, smart work does not equal hard work, and so if they find themselves working hard, there's this tendency to say, "Time out, hold on, maybe I should just stop working what I'm doing because." It's probably, if, I'm, if it's hard work, it must be dumb work, and I don't want to do dumb work. So let me just stop what I'm doing, and let me start thinking about how I could work smarter. My concern is that time is going to slip by, and no progress is going to be made because you're looking to try to find a way to get around the hard work. Let me show it in this different graphic. Let's kind of take this, this spectrum and kind of look smart, dumb on one side, and hard, easy on the bottom. Where we, most people are going to start is where things are. They show up dumb. They just don't know a lot. I mean, they're probably intelligent people, but for the, the zone that they're focusing on, they don't know enough yet. Imagine if you're a dentist watching this. When you went to dental school, you showed up and you didn't know a whole lot about dentistry, okay? You were dumb to it. You required all these years of schooling in order to learn more about it, but you had to put in the hard work in order to learn more about it. And as you did, you became smarter. And so just like this graph up here, as you kind of start transitioning from dumb work to smart work, meaning you became smarter in the field you're working in, you just, you grew, you were becoming better and more competent in what you were doing in your field. Let's contrast this with the easy and dumb. So if something is both easy and dumb, this is, I just use a, a clock punching thing here, just kind of show someone who's just showing up and clocking in at the end of the day, they clock out and they leave. They don't really put in any effort. They're just kind of doing the least minimum. They're just kind of biding their time. They're just kind of trudging along. So they're doing dumb work. Hey, but it's easy work. And so this is what they end up doing. So what about this other corner in the upper right? Well, this is where you're trying to find that holy grail of where's, where's the sweet spot. It's supposed to be easy and smart. Well, that is really wishful thinking. That is like trying to play the lottery or falling for some get-rich-quick scheme. This is a mirage. There is no smart work out there that's easy. Things will become easier, and I'll show that here in a moment, as you keep working. But hard work is always going to be at the core of what you're trying to accomplish. Because remember, why do most people stay? I think most people stay in this category. They're either clocking in, clocking out, or they're trying to chase after the silver bullet they think is going to somehow be quick, rich, easy stuff because they're trying to avoid ever having to work hard. They just they think it's the plague. They just want to stay away from hard work because they don't want to be dumb. Again, I said it earlier, they would rather just take a time out and just wait for the easy thing to come along or stay in the easy thing. They never want to venture off over into the hard work. Um, or they're over here thinking, well, maybe someday, someday my ship will come in. Someday I'll get lucky. Sometimes it's just something they think is going to be handed to them from the universe. And they're just kind of clocking in and clocking out. That is not the way that it works. Um, so this is kind of where you're going to be all the time is going to be in this state of working hard. You're going to be starting a place of, working dumb, but as time goes on, you're going to be working smart. Let me kind of show this by another graphic. You know, if you can gain more output by being efficient and being more effective, well, then that, to me, is smart work. If you're working on what you're doing and you find a way to do it quicker, more predictable, uh, less time, of course, or you can find a way to get more 
yeses, let's say and if it's in sales, you're, you're getting more yeses for the people you get in front of, you're being more effective, then that is the smart work. You're going to take your output, whatever you're measuring, and, what, and that starts increasing. That is you're doing smart work but because you're engaged in trying to move from this place of being dumb or to, be, to a place of knowing more and using efficiency and effectiveness to grow what you're currently doing. Another way to show this uh, as an illustration is at the beginning when you start doing something, you're over here in this square. You're doing it all, basically. Let's say you started a practice and you're just kind of doing the whole thing. You're doing the dentistry, you're doing the cleanings, you're doing the bookkeeping, the ordering, the sterilization. I mean, you're doing the whole thing. But then as hopefully as a practice picks up, you can now expand and grow. You can bring somebody in. You can delegate some of those uh, jobs to someone else. Like for example, when I first started, I did all my own accounting, did all my own bookkeeping. But as things got busier, I didn't have time for bookkeeping. It would be smarter for me to be treating patients. And so I brought someone else in to do the bookkeeping. That now allowed me to be more productive and using my time better. And so the practice was able to grow. And then as time went on, same kind of thing. You just kind of keep delegating. And the thing is, is when you bring in somebody to kind of take something off your plate and you're going to grow, there's going to be new hard work you're going to find. In my case, I just, in that last example, I brought in a bookkeeper so I could keep doing more of what I was doing. But now as I started adding more people to the practice, I needed the new hard work of how do you manage these people? How do you work with all the different dynamics that go on with having a larger practice with many more personalities in it? So that was now a new form of hard work. You can just kind of see as things progress, you're always going to have, you know, uh, as you keep delegating stuff out, you're going to keep finding new horizons where your hard work is going to be necessary. So keep this in mind, hard work always, um, because you kind of go through that, that pattern of where you're going to start here, become smarter. And as you become smarter, you're going to grow and you're going to knock yourself right back down to being dumb in a new category, but then you're going to become smarter and just things keep growing and growing. And that's what self actualization is about is you trying to find the new and higher thing. Um, uh, and you have to accept humility along the way and put your pride aside and be able to be dumb as you continue to move forward. So the old saying was work smarter, not harder. I say instead, Work hard and become smarter. That may not be as catchy as this other phrase, but this is the one that's going to propel you forward. At least that's been my experience, is that um, always working hard and being smart enough to be tuned into what's happening, that you will become smarter along the way. You will then become more successful in whatever you do. So if any of this has resonated with you, I'd appreciate it. If you want to check out more of my content over at bradrevering.com, I would look forward to hearing from you. All right, take care. Bye.